I am not a liar. I have killed thousands. I have fed more drug fiends than the top three pharmaceutical companies combined. I have stolen children from parents, wives from husbands, wiped out entire generations. But lying, that I have never done. The rest are offenses against humanity. Lying is an offense against yourself. I am the head of the Santa Blanca organization, which you call a cartel. I had a dream. I dreamed of a land where we could grow our own coca, produce our own cocaine, where we could run our business free from interference from the police, the government, the army, the Yankees. In my dream, a woman's voice asked me, Sueño, mijo, what if you had your own country? Like Moses, I led my people to the promised land. Bolivia. We came here. We bought the coca fields. What we couldn't buy, we took. We bought the police, the military, the judges, the politicians. We were on the verge of becoming the government itself, on the razor's edge from fulfilling my dream. Of creating a narco state. The nation of Santa Blanca. Last week, a crude explosive detonated outside the U.S. Embassy in La Paz, Bolivia. Two Marine Embassy guards were injured in the blast. Two days later, a CIA asset in central Bolivia provided us with these images. Our analysts have identified the individual in the photo as DEA Special Agent Ricardo Ricky Sandoval, my friend. Sandoval has had spent the last six years investigating the local cocaine industry. Our understanding is that Sandoval was the intended target of the bombing. What the embassy bomb did not accomplish was completed up close and personal. Sandoval was captured, tortured, and killed. Then his body was dumped. We have yet to recover it. Our target, the group responsible for the embassy bombing and the death of Special Agent Sandoval, is the drug trafficking organization commonly known as the Santa Blanca Cartel. Yesterday, they were just narcos. Today, they're narco-terrorists. Initially, the Bolivian government resisted the Mexican cartel. They formed UNIDAD, a Bolivian special forces unit. It didn't go as planned. Thousands of bodies later, politicians, police officers, and journalists have become an endangered species. The Bolivian government has imploded on itself. With no other options, the new president made a deal with Santa Blanca. You stop killing our people, we'll look the other way. Since then, Santa Blanca has turned Bolivia into the nexus of the South American drug trade. With their friends in Mexico, they also have a clear pipeline to the US and Canada. The only way to stop Santa Blanca for good is to completely dismantle them, piece by piece. The cartel is organized into four operations. Production, smuggling, security, and influence. At the top of it all is El Jefe de los Jefes, boss of bosses, El Sueño.
the agent they murdered. You knew him? He was a friend of mine. Sorry for your loss. I could say it comes with a job, but it doesn't get any easier. No, it doesn't. Guess you've been down here a while? I've been living as Karen Bowman, international aid worker, for just about five years. Means living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. At least it comes with a chopper. How'd you get in country? A flew in business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Huey, Argentina, and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. That explains why you smell like ass. I've heard rumors about you guys. I was a rookie field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? Nah, it must have been someone else. We were never there. It's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. Huh, you should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman, international aid worker. I'm sure you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now, no matter how you compartmentalize how you Desensitize, you can't prepare for El Sueño. He's got a religious street that rates pretty close to delusional. He's taken vows of poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. This joint task force is CIA, DEA, and JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a contingent of locals. The Qatar is 26. They're a group of rebels who've been giving Unidad and Santa Blanca some resistance. We'll meet their leader, Pat Qatari, as soon as we touch down. Bolivians have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to. Four soldiers. This is the help you promised? That Sandoval promised? A single Yankee died, so you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we aren't here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pakatari, leader of the resistance group Kataris 26. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There is no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Kataris 26. More than that, her group is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he is in this province and that there is a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sat phone. Good hunting. Saving Amaru is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions.
Time to earn your pay, people. Put on your game faces. I tell you, I'm not too comfortable working with Pakatari and these rebels. Their kind of ideology always ends up with more bodies in the ground. What's your feeling on this op, Nomad? End of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and the firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective, track down that Santa Blanca lieutenant so we can find Amaru. Whoa. I'll drive. Don't want to spook the target. Switch to suppressors. Got eyes on the target. Let's move. Just spotted one with submachine guns. Got it. Moving. Ready. Call the shot. Tango is fucking down. Okay, we're still all right. Hey, we're good. These supplies will buy us a lot of good. Hey, we got a narco inside the watchtower. The drone is up. Got another tango. Tango number three. He makes five. Easy. Camino. Pinche cabrón. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. Lo entiendes? Chill the fuck out, cabrón. What do you want? Amaru. Where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Sure thing. He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you. We need to get this done in a hurry. Amaru's an old man. 
He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. Amaru's a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. Moving to position. I need to get to a better position. Got the target. Ready to engage. Weapons free, weapons free. Clear over here. Let's get moving. The cartel isn't gonna wait around for us to track down and rescue Amaru. We got company, stay sharp. Damn, they did not like the sound of that. Their lieutenant's running away. Coopere todo saldra bien. Talk now. I'll talk, all right? Just chill. prisoner in the village of Culta. What a wonderful name for a town. They were protecting him. See, si. the village is known to Unidad as a haven for rebels. Why do these rebels even bother? Kill them all. The whole village. Visit divine wrath upon Culta and wipe it off the face of the earth. Claro, al rato. Yo, we got hostiles. I got a narco over here. There, in the barn. Coming up on a Toyo farm. Remember, a lot of these Sicarios are ex-military. ID your targets. If Amaru gets killed by a stray round, Operation Kingslayer will be dead in the water before it even starts. Let's go. I got another. That's five. Got it, moving. I need to get to a better position. Got the target. Say the word, boss. Dropped him. Assholes are coming this way. What's the plan? Yo, I got a weapons case here. Ah, I could use this.
We'll leave a marker so the rebels can pick up the supplies later. There's a cartel commendation here. This is a commendation. Looks like it came from a box of cereal, or the Air Force or something. Are you Amaru? What's left of him anyway? Come on, we're getting you out of here. I got it, I'll fly. Hey. Where are you taking me? Back to your friends. Entonces Pacatari has made his deal with the malditos extranjeros, the young fool. Take it up with him, senor. This is it. Hold up. There's a weapons case here. Nice. I got a sniper rifle over here. Hurt? Santa Blanca is not the most gracious of hosts. These Aucas, these demons, they had questioning me. Let us say their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. But their methods were not. were not. Were their names Yuri and Polito? Si, Yuri Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval while Sueño questioned him. I want them bad. We only saw run-of-the-mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's gotta know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock. Heads up. Bowman's file on Yuri and Plito is coming through. There were four people in the room the night DEA agent Ricky Sandoval was murdered. El Sueño, the head of the Santa Blanca cartel, Ricky, and the last two were La Yuri and El Polito. Yuri and Polito met at a poor state-run hospital in Chiapas, where El Polito was doing his residency, and La Yuri worked as a nurse. It was love at first sight. From the first moment their eyes met, they were inseparable. A love like no other. One day, a Buchan named La Plaga walked into the ER, all shot up. 
It was touch and go for a while, but Yuri and Polito were able to save his life. La Plaga was grateful. He showered them with gifts, invitations to the most exclusive parties, even a new car. And after a while, La Plaga made Yuri and Polito the personal medical staff of the Santa Blanca cartel. But that wasn't their main job. See, Yuri and Polito know about the human body. They know how much pain a person can endure before he'll die. They know how to keep a person alive and awake so they can feel the pain. And most of all, they know how to inflict that pain. That's what they do in Itaqua province. When Santa Blanca captures someone that refuses to talk, La Yuri and El Polito make them talk. They break people. Like I said, there were four people in the room the night Ricky Sandoval was murdered. Sueño, Ricky, Yuri, and Polito. They kept Ricky alive while Sueño tortured him. Non-stop for 47 hours straight. They broke Ricky Sandoval. Then Sueño executed him. That's the rundown on La Yuri and El Polito. They're a key part of Santa Blanca's security operation. Remember to check out Bowman's briefing on their chain of command. Guy in charge of security is El Muro, the wall. Personal bodyguard and childhood friend to El Sueño. El Muro's little brother is La Plaga. Nasty piece of shit. Very active on social media. Head Sicario for the cartel. The hunt starts now. We want Sueño, we gotta work our way up the hierarchy. First targets are Yuri and Polito. We find the intel, we track them down, we take them out. Hang on, I'll drive. Eyes on a narco with a submachine gun in the cemetery. Drone is airborne. I'm spotting another tango. Tango number three. I've got eyes on the captain. Just spotted one with submachine guns. Roger, let me get in position. Let me get into position. Got the target. Ready to engage. That tango's down. Nomad, I've got Pakatari on the line. Sounds like he needs our help. Put him through. Hola, compadre. I have a problem in Itaqua, and Bowman says you may be able to help. My people need help. There have been many losses to the cartel, and the horrors inflicted by Yuri Polito have broken their spirit. The fires of revolution have almost gone out. Spare me the rhetoric, Atari. Just tell me what you need. There is a cartel supply convoy passing through the province soon. Capturing it would give my people much needed supplies and restore their morale. Can you do this? Consider it done. We're taking orders from Pat Katari now? Katari needs this convoy. We are gonna give it to him. The more he depends on us to get shit done, the more we can get out of him in return. I got one of those cartel medals here. Some Sicario is gonna miss this. This medal has a coca plant on it. That's kind of cool. What the 
hell happened here? GPS says the place is named Yopil. I don't see any signs of fighting. It's just a ghost town. I suppose either the cartel or the dogs chased everybody off. Another tango. Roger that. Moving. Moving to a good sight line. Eyes on the Say target. Say the word, boss. He's gone. Hey, we're good. I think Santa Blanca gives out a lot of these. I'm cool, let's move. Hey, Tal, you got a tip on the cartel in the area? Gracias. Akatari's rebel movement is on the verge of defeat. If we help him turn things around, we'll be able to count on his support in the future. going on there. Deploying drone. Heads up. We've got an Unidad convoy on the move. I've got eyes on multiple vehicles, including a commo truck. Let's get after it. The rebels are hurting for decent comms. We could loot the truck and share the love with the Qatari's people. I'm opening fire.
Hang it down. He's close We're to that local. Let's see if there's anything worth taking from the truck. Clear. Radio gear secure. We'll tell the rebels where to come get their new toys. Let's move. Pack, this is Nomad. The convoy is secure. Gracias, amigo. My people will make good use of those supplies. My people are searching for La Yuri y El Polito, but in the meantime, there is something else you can do for us. I have prepared a speech for the people of Bolivia. It is a call to arms that we will broadcast from Itaqua. Santa Blanc is gonna send troops to shut that down as soon as they hear the transmission. You see my problem? I need someone dependable to find a radio transmitter and protect it until the broadcast is complete. Okay, Katari. We'll get it done. Got another tango. I got a third target. I got a target carrying submachine guns. That chopper's chock full of supplies the rebels could use. Let's get after it. Found their amigo. Damn. We're cool. We're cool. We got a couple of narcos over by the soccer field. There's a cartel medal over here. It's gonna break some poor thug's heart to lose this. Think I can wear this with my Class A uniform? Getting a position. Let me get into position. Hold on. Let me get a good sight line. Eyes on the target. Ready to fire. I'm opening fire on these shitheads. We rattled somebody's cage. Oh, here we go. They've seen us. We done? Shit, I kind of got all excited there. These supplies will buy us a lot of goodwill from the Rebels. Got a 20 on a Rebel radio transmitter that's been powered down. We should get out there and light it up. Pakatari's got some brass ones, I'll give him that. Give that fucker an inch and he'll take a mile. If he can get us to Yuri and Polito, it's worth it. Let's get it done. There are a lot of lights and switches up here. That was a fucking hoot. Nothing like swiping a helicopter to bring a day into focus. <gasps> you think with all their money, the cartel would make a nicer metal?
We ought to be able to find some intel around here. Bad guys in the area. Yo, cartel gunman, on the bridge. Eyes on a cartel lieutenant. Okay, By the we're ruins. still alright. I've got the location of a cartel metal they're planning on giving to some Billy Badass. Pakatari's rebel movement is on the verge of defeat. If we help him turn things around, we'll be able to count on his support in the future. We got company, stay sharp. Hola, amigo. You hear anything about the cartel around here, where they are, or things like that? Gracias. Sounds like that cargo plane's ready to fly. 
All it needs is a pilot. Don't see why that can't be one of us. We take the plane, fly it to a friendly airstrip, and let the rebels have whatever's inside. Marking a captain. I got a target carrying submachine guns. Good shooting. Let's clean up and move on. Dig in. The cartel's gonna hit this place hard once that transmission starts. Keep the guns Keep down, fellas. Well, we don't down. want to scare want them all off. On our side. Up. We got hostiles in the area. Good people look for area. Why do you work in the coca fields every day? So Santa Blanca can beat you down and pay you shit? Hold your position. So you I copy. Your slaves to the garden. I say no. We are going free. Ready? And fire, fire, guns. fire. I copy. Chains. Tango is fucking down. Take up arms I'm engaging weapons. tangos. Clear. How are you guys holding up? How long must we let them poison our children? How long must we let them destroy our country? This will go on forever, I tell you. Until we take up arms, join forces, and fight back. Engage. Okay, message sent. That ought to inspire the rebels. Well done, compadres. My speech was heard all over Bolivia. It is only a matter of time before the people rise up and join our cause. Viva la revolución! Glad we could help. Now what have you got on Yuri and Polito? Nothing yet, amigo. Those two, they cover their tracks well. But my people are working on it. We will know something soon. In the meantime, my revolutionary brothers in Itaqua stand ready to help if you need them. Just call, and they will come. I'll keep that in mind. Compadre, I may have someone who can give you information on Yuri and Polito. I'm listening. One of my lieutenants managed to escape from them. He fled to a village called Kulta. Rather than give my man up to the cartel, the villagers hid him. Goddamn bravery right there. In response, Santa Blanca raised every home and executed all the villagers. Fuck. My lieutenant is still being kept alive. Probably so he can be killed in an even more painful way. Understood. We're heading to Kulta now. <laughs>
All clear, all clear. Hostiles in the area, stay frosty. Deploying drone. Got another tango. I'm getting a position. I need to get to a better position. Wait one. Let me get in position. Target marked. Roger. Target acquired. Ready to engage. Kill confirmed. Sniper up in the tower. We're good to go. We'll let the rebels know where to find these supplies. They could pay us back later. Enemy activity, stay sharp. I see a second target. I got a third target. Eyes on two Unidad soldiers. Spotted one with submachine guns. He makes five. I'm moving to position. Find a good position. Hold up. Let me get a good sight line. Target acquired. Target acquired. Standing. Say the word, boss. Got him. Sounds like I found a body. We're clear over here. Hey, I found a Santa Blanca medal. This'll make a nice souvenir. <laughs> 